Hello and welcome to Gadget Guide USA. Thanks for watching my Biotech TV box media and media center uh, with 7 inch screen. Uh, essentially what it is, it's a, a dual boot uh, tablet PC or, or all in one media PC really, I guess it's really not a tablet. Uh, it comes with Android 444 KitKat, which is just upgraded KitKat. Uh, and then it also comes with Windows 8.1 with Bing. Uh, but it is fully upgradable to Windows 10 and we'll go ahead and get into that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go over some specs now. As you can see, I have some movies playing with uh, Kodi XBMC. I think I just, uh, yeah, with Kodi XBMC right now with the Genesis add-on, uh, which of course, uh, just for note, Gadget Guide USA does not condone, condone movie piracy whatsoever. Uh, but if you do just happen to have a Kodi XBMC and you like running the Genesis app, as you can see, it runs fine with this uh, with this Media Center all-in-one PC. Uh, my main goal with this box is actually uh, to turn my 46-inch uh, dumb TV into a smart TV, uh, and I can do that with both Android uh, and or Windows. Uh, now I guess we'll go over ahead and start with the retail, bo retail box as we normally do. Uh, you know, it just says Biotech on the outside. It doesn't really give you any information. Uh, but of course, inside the box, we found, uh, of course, this all-in-one media center, PC, whatever you want to call it. One HDMI cord, one power supply, one owner's manual. Uh, and you can kind of see it came with some plastic wrap and uh, some foam to protect the screen and this nice little handy plastic thing. Uh, this was tucked into a brown shipping container. Uh, and as you can see, it got here from Amazon, uh, you know, in good shape. So that's all we really care about. Uh, we're going to go, of course, shoot off some specs here. Uh, it comes with an Intel Atom 1.33 gigahertz uh, in processor. Uh, it has, it does have a 2.16 gigahertz burst, uh, which I, you know, it, it seems to work great. So I uh, don't have any issues. That's probably a streaming issue with Cody. Uh, <clears throat> It has a, comes with two gigabytes of RAM and a 32 gigabyte read-only memory digital access. Uh, one thing you're going to note is, is that you don't get the whole 32 gigabytes uh, for just Windows. Uh, it, it does it in partitions. So there's a 16 gigabyte partition for Windows 8.1 and then there's an 8 gigabyte partition for Android. Uh, so of course I already mentioned it came with HDMI and as you can see right there that's Windows uh, 8.1. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go over the physical characteristics. All right, so it's got two, inter two uh, internal speakers there, one on the left, one on the right, so it has full stereo sound. Uh, I'm accidentally pushing buttons there. It has a power button right here. It has a volume up and down, uh, so you can adjust volume while you're watching movies and things like that. I, I use this primarily uh, as a viewing device, so of course I like that. It has two USB ports on the side, two USB ports on the back, so four total USB ports. It has a headphone jack right there. Uh, that's not something I use a lot. I generally use the HDMI out, but we'll get to that. Uh, it does have a TF card right there. It's also, you'd probably know it as a micro SD card. Uh, and then it has a full HDMI out, which is like the thumbs up part of this. That's the main thing I use it for. It's to turn my TV into a smart TV. And of course I watch everything in HD whenever possible. And it has a 10 megabyte, 100 megabyte LAN port. Just to note, it's not gigaport. Uh, so those are pretty much the physical characteristics. Uh, we can see Viotech branded on the front. Uh, it actually has a Windows key there, which is an actual usable key. It can take you there. As you can see, it supports screen flipping and all that good stuff. Uh, so I want to go back there. Uh, and on the bottom here, we do see it has all these heat vents. It does not have an internal fan whatsoever. It does get a little, the bottom gets a little bit warm. Uh, I would recommend, uh, you know, just... I don't know, I've watched back-to-back -back movies for over four hours with it. I mean, it did get warm, uh, and I don't like that, but it's not like I'm going to add a fan or put a fan on it. I, uh, I feel pretty strongly that it's going to be okay. Uh, so a couple taps right there will get you uh, the other way, but of course, if you'd rather watch it in landscape or whatever else, uh, it does support all those modes, so of course we like that. Uh, when you start the computer, you get the choice between booting to Android or booting to Windows. Uh, if you don't make a choice within 10 seconds, it'll just automatically turn off, just a note. You just select Windows or Android, and then you hit Enter. It's really easy. Uh, <clears throat> but right here, you see Windows 8.1. In addition to coming with Windows 8.1 and Android 444 KitKat, it also comes with a free year of Microsoft Office 365. I can't stress the value of that. Uh, if you're a student, I, um, I'm actually a student in the biochemistry program, so I use Microsoft Office every single day. Uh, so a free subscription to Microsoft Office 365 can be 100 bucks just by itself. Google that. Uh, but 
Uh, it is fully upgradable to Windows 10. Uh, it's a really easy process. It did take a long time though. I, did, I wasn't excited about how long it take, but it was fully upgradable to Windows 10 for absolutely free. But just to know, after you upgrade to Windows 10, your one year of Microsoft Office is no longer good. Uh, so basically what you want to do is, is right when it boots up to this, this is what you're going to see, Windows 8.1, uh, you're going to open Microsoft Office. Uh, you're going to go through the... Uh, you know, the uh, subscription process, which you're going to have to make a Microsoft email or use one of your email addresses and sign up for your one year of Office 365. As soon as you have the Office 365 signed up, immediately upgrade to Windows 10. Uh, as soon as I pulled this out of the box, I was doing it, it says Windows 10 for free. I upgraded to Windows 10 and I really enjoyed Windows 10. Uh, but for the purpose of this review, I actually booted it. I went to, you can actually see how I pulled off the side there. You can go to settings. Uh, PC settings, change PC settings down here at the bottom. Uh, and you can actually, then you go to update and recovery, then you go to recovery, and uh, you can put it right back to Windows 8.1, which is what I did for the purpose of this review. I didn't want to do the review and be like, oh, I run Windows 10, when it in fact comes with Windows 8.1. Uh, but like I said, as far as the process to get your one year for Office 365 and upgrade to Windows 10, start the computer, immediately get your one year of Office 365, then immediately upgrade to Windows 10, and uh, your one year will transfer over right to your Windows 10. Uh, but if you upgrade to Windows 10 first, you don't get your free one year. So just make sure that you uh, you know get that one year of 365 it's worth a hundred bucks considering this PC was only $119.99. Uh, that's a real bargain. Uh, but to be honest, I'm really not a big fan of Windows 8.1. I don't like the fact that you have tiles and you have a desktop. Uh, I guess it's, oh, I have, I have Kodi XBMC running right now. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go home here uh, and turn it off and then exit. All right, so I should exit. Uh, but overall, I really did enjoy this. Uh, it, it'll turn any TV with an HDMI port into a smart TV, so of course we like that. Uh, if I can get Kodi XBMC to exit. Apparently I let it run too long. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, it's really easy to switch back and forth between Windows and Android. As you can see, I'm running Windows here. Uh, and one nice thing, it doesn't come with a lot of bloatware. Uh, if you get Windows 8.1 from a lot of places, it comes with all this garbage installed that you have to uninstall or something like this. This is like a, a clean Windows 8.1 install. There's not a lot of extra stuff. Uh, so as you can see, I go to my desktop and pretty much everything here is what came with it. Uh, one thing about the Viotech PC compared to other PCs like this, and I do actually have a very similar PC, it's called a Peepo X8 uh, that I'm going to review. Uh, and they're very similar as far as the, uh, you know, the hardware and the uh, outside parts, uh, but the software is a little bit different, we'll go over that. Uh, the Viotech PC here uh, came with a Kodi 14.2, and as you can see it keeps screen flipping as I pick it up. Uh, so as you can see the Viotech, we have Kodi 14.2 here, and that's an install package. It doesn't come pre-installed. You just click it and click next, 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 it installs. Uh, and then if you, of course, have Kodi, uh, and if you want to add add-ons, uh, I would suggest Genesis, even though I do not condone piracy in any way. Uh, Kodi is, or Genesis is actually banned from Kodi XBMC, uh, but you can figure it out on the internet. You just download it as a zip file. Uh, then you'll open up Kodi and go to System, and then after System you'll click Add-ons, then Add-ons you will click Install as a zip file, uh, and then find the zip file with the Genesis add-on. It's something, this is pretty much the main reason I got this is for Kodi XBMC. Uh, but one thing you see here, you see the Windows to Android. Uh, you can click that, and that's how you switch from Windows to Android. And we're going to go ahead and click Yes here. Uh, and it's going to click switch to Android. Are you sure you want to switch to Android? Yes. Set variable success. Uh, so now to go ahead and boot to Android 444. Uh, not only did I went over the physical characteristics, it also has Wi-Fi and it has uh, the standard 802.11. Uh, it'll connect to B, G, or N. Uh, so it'll pretty much, if you have a wireless router, it will connect to it. You shouldn't have any issues there. Uh, I think I went over all the, uh, oh, it also comes with Bluetooth 4.0 and the Bluetooth is built in. I have synced uh, my uh, BlueDO Bluetooth headset to it. I've also synced a Viotex headset to it. Uh, so, you know, of course we always like that. And this is the screen you get. You can see it here. You just click Android or you click Windows and then you hit this enter button. Uh, and now we're gonna go ahead and boot to Android. Uh, another handy thing about this one is, uh, like, you know, when I brought my uh, Samsung Galaxy home, it comes with all this bloatware and you can't even install it. Uh, the Viotech PC version of Android 444 comes with absolutely nothing, uh, you know, except what you need. So it doesn't come with any bloatware and of course we like that. Overall, 
Uh, for the $119.99 that I paid for this, this is I really feel like it's a bargain. Uh, I open this up. Of course, you, you don't see any apps now because, like I said, I fully restored it back to uh, factory install uh, for the purpose of this review. Uh, but I played games with it. I played Angry Birds. I played Basketball Revenge. Uh, I played, uh, you know, quite a few of my tower defense games. Uh, so it runs everything uh, flawlessly. Uh, like I said, I really don't like Windows 8.1, so I'd recommend uh, starting the computer, getting your year of Office 365, and immediately upgrading to Windows 10. It's a really simple process, but it just takes a long time. It took quite a few hours, so of course I didn't like that. Uh, but the fact is, is that Windows 10 was free. Uh, it actually came with a pop-up and said, hey, upgrade to Windows 10. Uh, I unfortunately upgraded to Windows 10 before getting my year of Office 365, so I had to go back and redo it all. Uh, so, you know, just to give you that warning, get the Office 365, then upgrade to Windows 10. Don't upgrade to Windows 10 when it tells you to. And when you are in Android at any point in time, uh, you can, you know, unlock it and you just pull down the right side of the menu and you can click Ah Switch. And it will take you, of course, back to Windows. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and talk about the manual here. Uh, it's an excellently well-written manual. Of course, we like that. Uh, it's going to go over all the basics here. So I guess we'll go ahead and start with the bin. It calls it a TPC. It's a TV box, a media center, a PC, a TPC. I don't, I don't know how they get that, but of course, I guess it works. Uh, you know, it gives you uh, some pictures of, you know, all the... You know, HDMI port here. Uh, it goes up as table of contents as precautions. Don't you know? Don't use it in the swimming pool. Uh, gives you the Windows 8.1 start screen. Uh, it tells you how to slide screen. It gives you all the little uh, you know the specific Windows 8.1 instruction to zoom in and out. You pinch, uh, slide down to grab menus, uh, and you can move the screen and all that. Uh, it doesn't tell you about how to use split screen, but split screen is pretty easy. Of course, you can Google it too. That way, uh, at any point in time when you're using Windows 8.1, you could have Internet Explorer on one half of the screen and you know some other app on the left side of the screen. So of course, we like that. Uh, it tells you you know how to go to your app screen. Uh, so it basically, it's just telling you how to use uh, the basics of Windows 8.1, how to delete an app, how to customize your start screen, uh, how to use the, the charm menus, I guess what they call it, how to search, share, change your settings, switch devices. Uh, so it just gives you all the basics there. Uh, it's very well written. It's obviously written by somebody who's either native language is English or has a, you know, a real mastery of English. I know that sounds weird, but a lot of the manuals I go over are uh, horrid. Uh, so now, oh, okay, it does tell you how to do split screen. I lied. So step five is how to do the split screen and how to share screens. Uh, password management, it gives you some pictures here. It makes it really easy to go through. Uh, you know, of course, I didn't really need the manual, uh, but it's always nice to have additional instruction. And uh, so I just wanted to go over that manual. Overall, it's a very well written manual and definitely adds, uh, you know, if you're not very proficient in PC, it tells you how to use every little, uh, you know, detail of Windows 8.1, how to navigate from the screens. So, of course, we like that. Uh, but really, a lot of value. Uh, you know, the fact is, is it output and outputs an HDMI great. Uh, I was really happy with that to turn my dumb TV into a smart TV for under $120. Uh, so this really, this all-in-one PC or Media Center PC offers a lot of value. It gives me full access to the Google Play Store, uh, full access to Windows 8.1, and full access to Windows 10 should you want to upgrade. And like I said, I seriously recommend upgrading. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed my product review today. Comments are always welcome at the bottom of the page. Subscriptions are always appreciated. Thank you. And if you have any specific questions, comments, or suggestions, please email me at gadgetguideusa at gmail.com. And just as a reminder, I'm going to do a heads-up competition between uh, this Viotech TPC Media Center uh, versus the Peepo X8 uh, all-in-one media center as well. So I'm going to do a heads-up review, so go ahead and stay tuned to that. Of course, the subscribers are going to get it right away. Thank you for your time.